I'm winning the Impact World Championship at Slammiversary. Slammiversary, Saturday, July 15th on Pay-Per-View. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Impact Wrestling opening contest. A return match for the X Division Championship, set for one fall. Introducing first the challenger from Toledo, Ohio, Trey Mikkel. And Rainbow on top of it being a return match from Against All Odds. This is a contractual rematch for the X Division title owed to the former champion, Trey Miguel. And you want to talk about lighting up ATL. Well, look at the eyes of Trey Miguel, and they tell you every bit of the story. This guy here, a generational talent, he'll tell you himself, is ready to reclaim gold. This is extremely personal to Miguel, as it is for Saban. His opponent from Detroit, Michigan, the X Division champion, Chris Saban! And let's not forget, Ray, well, while this is a contractual rematch from Against All Odds, this really got sparked at Under Siege, the event where Trey Miguel used every tactic imaginable to get around the rules and escape with his X Division Championship that night due to the controversial nature of that, quote, win for Trey Miguel at Under Siege. That's what led to the rematch at Against All Odds. Hey, Trey Miguel is just doing what he had to do, but Credit where credit is due, one half of the Motor City Machine Guns continuing to make history in the X Division time and time again. But could he be just another blip in that long, long history for Chris Saban as the championship bounces right back to the generational talent himself, Trey Miguel. 21 years of history behind the X Division Championship. No one has held it more times than Chris Saban. A record setting nine X Division Championship wins. We'll see if Trey Miguel can unseat the new champion here tonight at center stage. And just look at the eyes. You saw it in his entrance. You saw it the moment Chris Saban entered the ring. Trey Miguel is focused even more so than usual as right now twisting, tying up the X Division champion in knots. A shout out to our fans tuning in on Sky TV in the UK oh. and Ireland. We thank you for joining us as a part of the Zone 1 HD on channel 429. Thank you for watching Impact Wrestling. Now the X Division champion and getting the better of that early, early exchange. You see Saban there showing the world nine time champion. If you're Trey Miguel, how do you put emotion aside in this? Because you could see the face of Trey Miguel when he came out. You normally don't see him that stone-faced. Well, that's what I'm saying. He's in a different mood. We do normally see Trey Miguel like, he likes to have fun, oh. likes to have a good time. A lot of the time at other people's expenses as these guys just cannot let go of each other out here out on the ramp. But maybe if you're Trey Miguel, you just, you use that emotion, oh. but you just turn it in a different direction. And you see how contentious this is. Oh, yeah. Remember, this is a championship match. Saban with the advantage. Title can only change hands via pinfall or submission inside the ring. And Miguel and Saban won't let go of each other until now. The tenacity of uh, both these guys, to be fair. But again, Trey Miguel, I got to highlight it, is operating in a different plane right now. Ooh, there it is. Out of three from the official, both men exchanging blows back and forth outside the ring. Close quarters here at center stage. He's now Saban rushing Miguel. Whoa. Tries to take him off his footing face first into the apron. Miguel looking a little uh, loose on his feet there. As Saban continues, we look, Mr. Saban, we know where you're from, okay? We've known for 20 plus years, oh. and that's what you get for it. A shot right to the head there by Trey Miguel. Ooh. Oh, he leveled with a clothesline by the champion, Saban. Now Saban setting up for a belly-to-back suplex here into the cover, hook to the leg, and a kick out by Miguel. Still so much action to come this evening. Trinity will compete in her first ever one-on-one -on -one match with a male competitor. She tries to put Jay Vidal in his place. Also, Leo Rush will make his impact on Access TV debut this evening. We'll see one half of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions Kylan King battling Masha Slamovich. Kenny King tangles with Yuya Uemura also. Whoa! Oh, we're gonna hear from Scott Demore after Bully Ray and Steve Macklin's main event victory last week, and also Nick Aldis will.
finally explain his actions to the Impact World Champion Alex Shelley from two weeks ago. Over here, in the Impact Miguel zone. to retain, but Miguel staying in the fight. Miguel's staying alive here, and uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that Nick Aldis is actually going to join us here this evening on Impact Wrestling instead of handing a message to his personal interviewer. I personally can't wait to hear from the National Treasure. Things are really picking up. We are on the road to Slammiversary, one of our absolute biggest events of the year is Trey Miguel here. Oh, oh. Looking to hopefully walk into that huge event with X Division gold around his waist one more time. Went to the eyes, similar to what happened at Under Siege and at Against All Odds. And now Miguel is going to work. And once again, the intense stare of Trey Miguel, letting you know that he is all business here. There's a cover, hook to the leg to win the title in a kick out. Let us not forget the incredibly long reigns of Trey Miguel over the course of only two X Division title reigns had more combined days as champion than some some people like Saban who held the title time and time and time and time and time again. That is the kind of talent Trey Miguel is. Ultimately, his second X Division title reign ran 203 days, the third oh. longest individual X Division title reign of all time. Win Back the elbow, trying to win a third title and a kick out. And let's not forget, Ray Walt, this is a huge week for Impact Wrestling. This Friday and this Saturday, two back-to-back -back nights of Impact's Australian Down Under Tour. It'll be live exclusively on Fight TV at 5 a.m. Eastern, both Friday and Saturday morning. Don't worry, you can catch it on video on demand immediately after the event concludes, only on Fight. And this Friday, June 30th, Chris Sabin is scheduled to defend his X Division Championship in a three-way oh, against Frankie Kazarian and Rob the Eagles, of course, if Miguel wins, that's his title defense. Ooh. Oh, knee right to the back of the neck. Trying to win the championship here. Hook to the leg and a kick out. Uh, how lucky would Australia be to get a little taste of that generational talent? I hope, I hope he can pack quick if you're trading Miguel to get on a plane and get to Australia. And on top of that, that same night, Friday night, Alex Shelley, the Impact World Champion, Whoa! will be defending his title against Steve Macklin. And then Saturday, July 1st, in Wagga Wagga, Australia, the Motor City Machine Guns will challenge the ABC for the Impact World Tag Team title. So this could be a very challenging week for both these men we're seeing right now. I mean, that's what's so exciting about these events, these incredible events in Australia. Like I said, we're on the road to Slammiversary, but still so much could be thrown up in the air across every division in Impact Wrestling, the X Division right here included. Knee oh. right to the midsection. All right, Saban able to track down Miguel. Miguel missing that moonsault moments ago has given Saban a bullseye, gone off to the midsection, and now a kick right to the face. Driving through the jaw of Miguel there. Trey could be out of here uh, sitting on the top rope now. Dangerous territory if you're the challenger. And now Chris Saban trying to soften up Trey Miguel. Going for something big here in Atlanta. Trying to get Miguel off the top turn. Oh, look at the power of Saban with the superplex. Is it enough? Hook to the inside leg. Miguel gets the shoulder up in time. Very, very close on that one, but still not quite enough to put the former X Division champion away. Trey Miguel wants his title back. And now Saban getting back up to his feet. You can see the damage that's been done to Trey Miguel and back to the midsection goes Chris Saban, thinking about the cradle shock. No, not today though. Miguel able to counter. Well, he's going Ooh. for adventures here. This barrage of strikes. Here's Here a go. cover to win the exhibition oh. title and a kick out. Just a split second away of returning to the top of the mountain for Trey Miguel. But now, lining up the current X Division champion, the nine-time champ, looking to make this story end right here. Oh. Sola boot right to the face, thinking about the lightning spiral. Trying to end this matchup, it's worked in the past. Hold on a second, Saban. 
Oh. Oh. Driving the knees of Mikel into the canvas. And if you want to hit something like a Meteora, that's going to be a lot harder if you're Trey Miguel right now. Take away the base of Trey Miguel. You take away his speed. And now look oh. at this, a cross face. That's a full-on, almost STF situation there, Tom. And Trey got a long way there to crawl, but he will do so with everything he's got left. And Miguel gets to the bottom rope. That'll break up the submission, and Saban has to release. But as we always like to ask it, after a situation like that, how much has been taken out of Trey Miguel? Chris Saban looking very confident right now. Saban's appeared very calm and very confident throughout this matchup. It's Miguel who's been more emotional throughout. I think that's a surprise. It's true, Miguel, somebody who was so confident with the gold around his waist. Feels like he might be lost without it, but whoa! Whoa, look at Big this! Too soon! And now Trey Miguel trying to follow up, going to the top turnbuckle. Caution to the Meteora! Wait! Wait a minute, Saban! What? Again! Again, right to the STF! All right, spades of spade. What a hell of a counter from Chris Saban. All right, now Saban trying to pull this free, pull the arm free, get better positioning. Oh, oh and up oh. onto the shoulders. Oh. Wait, wait a minute, up, wait a minute. Up. Wait a minute. Oh. oh, my God. What the hell is this? That's Zachary Wentz. Zachary Wentz is back in impact. Trey Miguel's old running buddy from the Rascals. And Trey, uh, I'm trying to read his reaction, but oh boy, the boys are back, Tom. A little Rascals reunion here at ATL. And they uh, now look at down. this. Miguel and Wentz hammering away on the exhibition champion, Chris Saban, and here comes the Impact World Champion, Alex Shelley, to back up his tag team partner. Oh, uh, but the message has been sent. I, I can't believe this, and even Miguel couldn't believe it for a moment. Zachary Wentz is back in Impact Wrestling. What a time. What a moment for Zachary Wentz to show back up here to stand at the side of his buddy, his friend, his brother. The Rascals are back. What does this mean for the rest of Impact Wrestling?